What's happening, internet? Behold, the wonder that is the green screen. Star Destroyer, coming in over my shoulder. I can do that kind of stuff now, and I'm so excited. Hey, do you wanna know how you start a fight on the internet? You start talking smack about The Last Jedi. Thank you guys for all your comments on the last video. We got a good discussion going. A lot of you guys love the movie, a lot of you hated it. I just know there's fan friction. And you know what comes out of friction? Diamonds, diamonds. When you put coal under pressure, you get a diamond. And I'm hoping that's what Star Wars Solo, the Han Solo movie is gonna be. I know, call me a sucker, but I'm all in. Solo, it's got the girl from Game of Thrones. Ooh, Khaleesi, mother of dragons. So let's hope it's great. They got Ron Howard to direct. They brought him in at the last second. Not that Ron Howard. That kid's like seven. He couldn't direct a movie. This Ron Howard. Apollo 13 Ron Howard. Apollo 13 is a story of astronauts who tried to go to the moon and the mission got all messed up and then they landed home safe. America knew the ending to that story, and then he directed a movie about it, and everybody's like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? That's a good-ass director right there. Sorry the other dudes got fired, but I'm excited about Ron Howard's solo. Okay. Oh, and apologies. Uh, I said Rose was Chinese in, um, in The Last Jedi. She's not Chinese. She's from I don't give a crap about her character land. Born and raised! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Big, big week in the news. I gotta get to all of it. Uh, Stormy Daniels is in the news. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. She went on 60 Minutes to tell her story. So here's the deal. Uh, back in the day, like 10 years ago, she and Donald Trump did the bang, bang, boogie. And then uh, there was a, a don't talk about it contract signed. You, you know I'm a lawyer, because that's what I call it. Uh, so she signed it, but I guess he didn't sign it, and she just wants to tell her story, and now she went on 60 Minutes and told her story so that she can get out of the contract and tell her story. Seems like you already did your story. I uh, saw the interview, and much like Stormy's porn, it was okay, but she didn't seem into it. Here's a clip. Look, I shouldn't have come here. I'm just gonna go home. Oh, and much like her porn? <laughs> the 60 Minutes interview? No anal. <laughs> all right, uh, there was a big March for Our Lives things. We wanna talk about guns and saving lives and all this stuff. Uh, now you got David Hogg and his friends, they're in the debate. Now I held off, right? Because these are kids, they went through a horrible tragedy, but now they're in it. They're, they're, they're in it, they're part of uh, the discussion. Uh, they're doing stuff at marches and rallies, so careful, kids. However, I got a lot of respect uh, for David Hogg. I, I think he's crushing it on the good doctor. Isn't that crazy? It really... And he was also good in the television version of Psycho. Oh, and that little uh, uh, shaved head girl. Uh, good for you, sister. And I loved you in Deadpool. And I hope you're in Deadpool, too. That's another one we're looking forward to. Okay, that's all the news I got right now. We're excited about Solo. Uh, sorry about I didn't like The Last Jedi. Uh, Stormy Daniels, meh, what are you gonna do? And uh, David Hogg and his friends, uh, welcome aboard. It's gonna be rough sailing. Oh, and go to theloftestparty.com and check out my review of Near Automata. This is a game that came out like a year ago. It went under the radar. It's the best thing I've played in ages. It's a top-down shooter. It's a side-scroller. It's a third-person shooter. What the what? And check out 2B. Some of the best cosplay I've ever seen. Sexist much? Yeah, she's a hottie. And she's got a toaster that shoots villains. I'm Michael Loftus. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting that like button. Hit the little bell, you'll hear a dang a lang a lang a. Now let's go out by journeying through the rings of Saturn.